In IDEs, we need to reparse files really fast. Why? Uh, one example of this is code completion. Uh, it's when uh, a user types uh, object name dot and we want to show him a completion list. <coughs> And to do this, we need uh, to have an AST. The problem is that uh, <coughs> any uh, editing uh, invalidates the AST. Uh, so if we want to show uh, the completion instantly, we need to reparse files instantly. Uh, that's why we employ different tricks uh, to speed up this process. Uh, for example, we cache uh, as many things as possible in order to not recompute them at each reparse. Uh, also, for some edits, we update existing AST incrementally without discarding the old one and building a new one. And also, we defer uh, <coughs> some computations in the hope that uh, we won't need them at all. Uh, unfortunately, uh, sometimes these tricks uh, don't work and we need to fall back to a full reparse. Uh, that's the process where preprocessor took a significant share of time in. Uh, so, uh, let's consider uh, simply, <laughs> we thought about how can we uh, uh, speed up the preprocessor. Let's consider two macros A and B as shown on the left. And every time A is expanded, uh, preprocessor notices that B is inside and it expands B too. Uh, the question is, can we uh, compute the final replacement for the macro A and then apply it at each expansion of macro A? Uh, surely B can be redefined, uh, and that's why uh, the final replacement of A uh, needs to be updated. <coughs> uh, we, uh, using these ideas, we uh, made a prototype uh, based on Clan, and uh, at first expansion of each macro, we uh, compute the final replacement for it, uh, and uh, we track the dependencies, which macros depends on which, uh, so we can invalidate them correctly. Uh, uh, this gave us uh, a nice 20% speed up on boost libraries. Uh, a few months later, uh, we were redesigning our own preprocessor and uh, we noticed that only a small number of macros are expanded thousands of times. Uh, can we just implement them as built-ins? Uh, surely we can. Uh, we did this uh, and turned out that uh, it was surprisingly easy task. Uh, we implemented uh, six of the most common uh, macros in uh, Boost preprocessor, and we got the same 20% speed up on our own preprocessor. Uh, this, uh, uh, this is the number uh, of macro expansion uh, with and without this optimization. Uh, the strength of this approach is that it's much easier to implement uh, because each implement implementation of each macro is localized in one function. Uh, we don't need any fancy data structures to keep uh, this graph of dependencies. Uh, and a side effect, we got uh, better error messages. Uh, for example, we can check that the first argument of boost pp if is, uh, is a number. <coughs> uh, the weakness of this approach is that it only speeds up Boost uh, and the programs that use it. Uh, how can we make this uh, more widely applicable? Uh, so my question is, uh, what do you think? Is it feasible to implement these uh, built-ins in major compilers? Uh, if it is so, uh, we can contribute patches. Uh, it's open question, uh, should we implement them 100% uh, compatible? Uh, with existing boost makers, or can we improve them? Um, so uh, if you have any ideas, suggestions, uh, comments, uh, uh, you can mail me or you can find me at JetBrains both here. Thank you. <laughs>